Hi there, students. OK, I'm going to read and try and explain to you um, the poem Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll. The full poem uh, appears in the book The Hunting of the Snark, and one verse of it um, appears, I think, in Alice Through the Looking Glass. OK, um, so let me try. Th this is nonsense poetry. This is nonsense rhymes. Um, there are lots of weird words, yeah? They're not real words, they're invented words. And what you need to do is you need to try to interpret what the words mean from what they sound like. And this is really, if you're learning English, this is what you should be doing with the words that you don't know or you can't, haven't heard properly. So I think this might be quite a good practice for you. Let me read the poem first. Twas brillig, and the slithy toes did gyre and gimble in the wave. All mimsy were the borogoves, and the mown wraths outgrave. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jubjub bird and shun the frumious bandersnatch. He took his vorpal sword in hand, long time the manxome foe he sought. So rested he by the tum-tum tree, and stood a while in thought. And as in uffish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the tulgy wood, and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through the vorpal blade went snicker-snack. He left it dead, and with its head he went galumphing back. And hast thou slain the jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy, O frabjous day, kaloo kalay! He chortled in his joy. Twas brillig, and the slithy toes did gyre and gimble in the wave. All mimsy were the borogoves, and the mown wraths outgrave. OK, first of all, I'm going to go through this and try and give you uh, uh, my ideas of what it means. Um, and then afterwards, um, from Alice Through the Looking Glass, there's an explanation of this first verse that Humpty Dumpty gives to Alice. And then I'll read that as well. So firstly, twas. OK, notice this here. It was. It was brillig. So brillig sounds like brilliant, shining. And the slithy toes. Slithy here to me sounds like slimy. And a tove is some sort of creature. Did gyre and gimble in the wave. Or gyre or gyre. Gy a gyroscope to gyrate. Clearly this is going round and round. And gimbal. Well, a gimbal with an AL is something that you put a um, a compass in a ship and it keeps it f flat. So here, gyre, gyre and gimbal, these are movements. So they're, the slidey toes are jumping and spinning in the wave. To me, wave sounds like waves. All mimsy, so mimsy, this is, seems to me quite delicate, were the borogoves, this is another animal, and the mome wraths outgrave. So the mome wraths, to me this is another sort of uh, animal, an outgrave, they're outraged, they're angry, maybe. Beware the Jabberwock, my son. OK, the Jabberwock is a monster that the father of this boy has sent him out to catch. The jaws that bite, the claws that catch, so the jaws, the mandible, and the claws of the eagle. Beware the Jubjub bird. OK, so watch out for the Jubjub bird. And shun, to shun, to turn your back on. The frumious bandersnatch. 
Well, clearly the Bandersnatch is another monster. And Fumius, to me it sounds like furious, fuming, something like that. He took his Vorpal sword in hand. So, he took his sword in his hand, Vorpal, deadly, killing. Uh, I also have a, an idea that Vorpal, to me, gives this uh, idea of um, justice as well, Excalibur. Long time the manxome foe he sought. Okay, so sought from to seek to look for, and a foe an enemy. So for a long time he looked for the manxome, the problematic, the evil, yeah, um, the troublesome enemy he looked for. So rested he by the tum-tum tree and stood a while in thought. Okay, that's reasonably easy. And as in uffish thought he stood, so uffish, this doesn't exist, distant, uh, is the idea it gives to me. Uh, his mind is somewhere else, and maybe a bit righteous as well. The Jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the Tulgy wood. So the monster with eyes of flame came whiffling, whistling <laughs> through the Tulgy wood, Tulgy, turbid, dark to me, and burbled as it came. To burble is a real verb. Um, a small, the stream burbled. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the the water burbled as it came out of the uh, uh, the hole. One two one two, and through and through. So he's slicing this animal. The the jabberwock, the vorpal blade, the deadly blade went snicker snack. Okay, snicker snack. Um, this is just m pure on a matter pier. Snicker snack. Yeah. So you can hear the blade going through the uh, jabberwock. He left it dead and with its head he went galumphing back. Glumph, 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 glumph. And I think also it's got this word triumph as well. Maybe gallop, triumph, galloping in triumph. Maybe. I think this one looks like a portmanteau. We'll see it in a minute. A portmanteau is where you take two words and you join them together, or pieces of them, and make a new word. And hast thou slain the Jabberwock? So here, hast thou, this is Old English, have you. And have you slain, to slay, slay, slew, slain. Have you killed the Jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy. So a beam is like a, a ray of light, maybe. So my beautiful boy, my fabulous boy of light. Oh, frabjous day. So, frabjous, fantastic, joyous, wonderful. Kalu kale, hurrah, hooray. Kalu kale. He chortled, to chortle is to laugh, <laughs> in his joy. T'was brillig, so shiny, and the slithy, slimy toes, some sort of creature, did gu gyre to rotate and gimble, jump, or stay steady in the wave, maybe in the wood. All mimsy, maybe they're not very strong, they're not very... Um, robust were the borogoves. This is another animal. And the momraths. So, this is another creature. Outgrave. I get the feeling they were angry. Okay, now I'm going to read to you Humpty Dumpty's explanation of this from Alice Through, through the Looking Glass. So, Humpty Dumpty's explanation. You seem very clever at explaining words, sir, said Alice. Would you kindly tell me the meaning of the poem Jabberwocky? Let's hear it, said Humpty Dumpty. I can explain all the poems that ever were invented, and a good many that haven't been invented yet. This sounded very hopeful, so 
Alice repeated the first verse. And here we go again. Twas brillig, and the slithy toes did gyre and gimble in the wabe. All mimsy were the borogoves, and the mome wraths outgrabe. That's enough to begin with, Humpty Dumpty interrupted. There are plenty of hard words there. Brillig means four o'clock in the afternoon, the time when you begin broiling things for dinner. You begin cooking things for dinner. That'll do very well, said Alice, and slithy. Well, slithy means lithe and slimy. Lithe is the same as active, agile. You see, it's like a portmanteau. There are two meanings packed up into one word. Okay, so it's joined slithy and slimy and lithe together, S slithy, and that's a portmanteau. I see it now, Alice remarked thoughtfully. And what are toes? Toes, well, they're something like badgers. They're something like lizards. And they're something like corkscrews. A corkscrew to take a cork out of a bottle of wine. They must be very curious creatures. They are at that, said Humpty Dumpty. Also, they make their nests under sundials. Also, they live on cheese. And what's to gyre and to gimble? Gyre is to go round and round like a gyroscope. To gimble is to make holes like a gimlet. A gimlet is a sharp tool to make holes, particularly in leather. And the wabe is the grass plot around the sundial, I suppose, said Alice, surprised at her own ingenuity. Of course it is. It's called wabe, you know, because it goes a long way before it and a long way behind it. And a long way beyond it on each side, Alice added. Exactly so. Well, then Mimsy is flimsy and miserable. There's another portmanteau for you. And a borogove is a thin, shabby-looking bird with its feathers sticking out all round, something like a live mop. And then the mome wraths, asked Alice, if I'm not giving you too much trouble. Well, a wrath is a sort of green pig, but mome, I'm not certain about it. I think it's sort of for from home, meaning they'd lost their way, you know. And what does outgrabe mean? Well, outgribing is something between bellowing, like a bull, and whistling, with a kind of sneeze in the middle. However, you'll, he however, you'll hear it done, maybe down in the wood yonder, yonder over there. And when you've once heard once heard it, you'll be you'll you'll be you'll be quite content. Who's been repeating all that hard stuff to you? I read it in a book, said Alice. And that's from the Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. So that's uh one explanation, although I think with this poem you have to make your own explanations. You have to let it mean what it sounds like to you, okay? And this is what you need to be doing when you're doing a listening and these, wor uh, these words arrive that you don't know them. You've just got to imagine what they mean. Make your best guess. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.